Well, first of all, I'm actually a big fan of Germany. I, I love Germany. It's great. Um, I have a lot of friends, German friends, and I think Berlin is a very fun city. I know a lot of the coolest people I know are German, so I don't know. That's, that's why I love them. If you look at, say, what is necessary for a sustainable future, actually, you know, in, in one respect, a very important respect, Germany is a huge leader, which is in uh, solar power uh, generation. Uh, Germany is by far the, the best in the world when it comes to uh, solar power. Uh, I think even in terms of, in absolute terms, but certainly uh, in, in uh, solar power per capita, by far the best. And wherever I go in the world, I say, hey, Germany is a great example for, for solar power generation. And I think people in Germany should be really proud of that. That's a great thing that you've done. Um, but it needs to be, it needs to be paired with uh, sustainable consumption of energy on the transportation side. So um, that hopefully is something that will change, you know, in the, in the near future. But, uh, but, you know, whereas Germany is really great on sustainable power generation, it's not so much on the sustainable power consumption because transport is still very much uh, petrol and diesel. So, um, so hopefully that, that, that's something that, uh, that changes. So I think that's the most important thing that can be done for, for climate and, and Germany could be a, a great example in this regard. So, so that's, that's my hope on that, on that front. Um, let's see. Um, and then the stationary storage battery packs are also uh, something that's important because you need sustainable power generation, uh, sustainable power storage because of the intermittent nature of uh, renewable energy, and then combine that with with electric vehicles. So, uh, you know, Tesla we're developing stationary storage with the Powerwall power pack, um, and um, we think actually uh, Germany is a very important. Um, market for that. In fact, outside of the US, uh, Germany and Australia are, Germany first of all and then Australia are our top uh, priorities. So I think uh, that will hopefully be helpful. Um, Germany and particularly, particularly Berlin is not world famous for finishing construction sites in time and in budget. Uh, yeah. So you have created a kind of anti- uh, Berlin Airport project. Why Berlin? Why did you go to Germany and to Berlin to get that big project done? Sure. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm a, actually a big fan of Germany. I, I love Germany. It's great. I, you know, um, I have a lot of friends, um, uh, German friends, and uh, I think Berlin is a very fun city. Um, and uh, I, I think it's there's, there's also, it's, from a location standpoint, uh, people like, say, y young people can live in apartments at a reasonable price in, in the city of Berlin. Uh, but if somebody's got a family, they can still have an affordable house. So it's a good location offering, um, you know, good living for people of, of all ages and uh, incomes. And, and uh, uh, Berlin it's also Mayor like, once uh, said Berlin is poor but sexy. Is yeah, that what attracted you? Um, well, Berlin's not that poor, but, <laughs> but it's definitely sexy. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, I mean, uh, so we're going to have like uh, when we open the. Uh, you're all invited, by the way. Uh, <laughs> when we have the opening for Giga Berlin, we're going to have uh, just a big party. Um, you know, we're going to have like start off from the day, have more sort of family music, uh, and uh, and then gradually get more hardcore, and then go you know midnight techno till dawn. <laughs> do, you, do you plan to spend more time in Berlin yourself? You want to partly live here? If I, I, yes, I will be spending a lot of time here. Where do you sleep tonight? In the, in the, tonight's in the factory. In, a, in the factory? Not uh, in well, technically in a conference room in the factory, but yeah. You sleep in a conference room in the not finished factory tonight? Yeah, it gives me a good feel for what's going on. Well, I think the... I, th I think there should be more action. Um, the, I mean, Germany has some great uh, car companies, like some of the greatest car companies in, in the world, and amazing engineering ability. Um, but particularly uh, with respect to electrical and mechanical uh, engineering, I think also chemical engineering, Germany is probably the leader in the world. So there's a, uh, a, an enormous amount of engineering talent that I think could be put towards uh, electric cars, and, and really, and really should be 
Um, and I think it's just a question of making the leap and make and and making it a, a mainstream initiative instead of a, a side initiative. And it, it needs to be a, a a mainstream program, not not to, not sort of the like the A team. The A team needs to work on it. Um, that's a you know really important thing, and um, I think the government can certainly can certainly help by by saying that you know emphasizing that this is important. It's something that should be done. Uh, so I think if if the A team uh, at uh, uh, any of the big German uh, car makers uh, work on electric cars, it'll be a great outcome. Uh, please tell us, Germans are not really famous for building buildings very quickly. Look at, we're in Berlin right now, look at the airport. Uh, Berlin Airport, right? How, did, how do you manage to build so quickly? Well, it is, it, it is actually uh, quite difficult uh, to get all the permits, and um, it requires a lot of effort and a lot of uh, close cooperation with the authorities. So uh, it may, I would definitely not say that it is easy to get the permits. It's not, not easy. Um, One of the approaches that we did take was to proceed at risk with temporary permits. So there, there is a way to accelerate things in the system to go with temporary permits, but the risk is that your long-term permit could be denied, in which <coughs> case that you have to stop everything. And, and tear it down. Yes. So, <laughs> so most you. companies are not willing to take the risk of the temporary permit and then the risk of having to stop and tear down. Now, Elon, you're a CEO of a publicly traded company. Very really? valuable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of many public <laughs> uh, how, how do you explain taking this risk to shareholders? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, frankly, uh, I think there's probably a lot of risk associated with Tesla. And if uh, the, a low risk situation is what an investor wants, I would recommend not investing in Tesla. But many still invest in Tesla because they, they believe do. I, in speed. Yeah. Why, why is speed of such an essence? Well, I think the speed is um, a fundamental determinant of the competitiveness of any company. So, especially with the, when there's uh, technology involved. So, the rate of innovation fundamentally determines which companies succeed. Uh, you know, which, which companies are the number one in a in a particular uh, arena. Uh, like, if, unless, if, if, like, if, if one company has twice the speed of innovation of another, uh, provided that company does not die of a self-inflicted wound. Or die, sort of um, have infant mortality. The company with the, the high rate of innovation will unequivocally win long term. And very last question: You said you like Germany. For what reasons do you like Germany? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've always had a good time when I when I come here. Um, I don't know. I, I, I do like the sort of the engineering culture, and um, there's a. I, it's hard to say exactly why do you like something, but I always have a good time. Um, and people, I think, they really want to get things done. Um, and uh, I don't know. A lot of the coolest people I know are German, so I don't know. That's, that's why I love German. <laughs>